Welcome back internet and today we have got another CEX roulette so I'm really excited about this I'm going to give you a bit of background so when I first started collecting if you watch the channel I probably started about a year ago game collecting now and there was about five or six franchises I wanted to, co to collect that was the my main aim was to get all those franchises games I remember from when I was a kid and you know games I loved um, games franchises I loved and some of them I never got around to play in. So this is one of those games and I've been putting it off and putting it off. I don't know why. I've had vouchers in the past for CEX and things and I've just put it off and put it off. I'll get round to it. I'll get round to it. So recently the, there was this game and Haunting Ground that I was, I've was i been on my favourites on CEX for a while. But obviously CEX are changing their, their pricing slightly. Like now with PS2, you have a PS2 rarity section and they are actually listing those with or without manuals. I have noticed Haunting Ground, when I was going to buy it from Merthyr store and it was sold by the time I got there, was £80. I've watched that rise to £90 and i watched that rise now is £100 as of this video. I'll put that screenshot up there. Now, I don't know if that'll come back down or is that the, the trend and it's just going to keep rising. I have been told to get it as soon as possible because it's going to go up and up and up. I don't know. I've been putting it off. But I, I went for this game instead. This is another game. The price has gone up slightly. But out of the two, this is going to finish a franchise off for me. Whereas Haunting Ground is just a standalone game. So I, I picked this one. So fingers crossed, Haunting Ground won't go up too much and I'll get some more vouchers or, or more money in the game fund to get at that game because, um, yeah, it just seems to be going up and up. Now this game, it was £85. It's been £85 for as long as I can remember, probably since I started collecting a year ago. It has now gone up to £95. Um, I was just chatting to Laura. We was out for lunch and I just said... Oh, I don't know what to do. I've been putting it off. Shall I just get it? Is it going to keep going up? And she said, well, have you got the... Yeah, I got the vouchers. She said, well, just do it. You you wanted it for a year. So why not just do it? You've got the vouchers. And yeah, it may go down in price, but it may not. It may stay or it may go up. So I pulled the trigger anyway, regardless, and thought, let's go for it. Now, like I said, they do list them with manuals now. So I know it's going to have a manual. The question is, what condition is it going to be in? And the game I picked up is Silent Hill Origins. Now, that case looks weird. Do you know, I've never seen the back of the case before, so I'm not sure if that looks right or not. It just doesn't seem a lot of writing on there, but I could be wrong. Um, it's got the Sony seal and all that on there, so, you know, the, the hologram. Right, so it does have a manual. To be honest, this isn't a bad condition game. It's, um, there's no marks on the front. There's no rips or anything or anything in the plastic. Let's check the disc out. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to start using a light to get clearer pictures, but clear videos, but I don't think it's really working for me. I think it's making things worse. So let me know if, if it's bugging you. I'll stop using a light. I don't think I really had an issue before, so I don't know why I'm trying to improve it. And then we've got the manual, which is in really good condition. So I am really happy with that. I'm just going to turn this light off and do my nutting. Right, light off. So there we go. You can see the manual here. I've got colours all in my eyes where I've been staring at that light. Really, really good condition. I am super over the moon with that. So that is a really good condition. This CEX roulette has been a success. Now I know 95 quid is a lot of money for that, but it's what I needed. It is now finished off my Silent Hill on PlayStation. So I've got every Silent Hill release on PlayStation. There are a couple of PSP releases, but I don't think I'm going to get them. I've got one of them. I've got Origins actually on, on PSP. Never played this game. I did turn it on on PSP and played about half an hour, but I didn't didn't get far enough to really enjoy it. So I'm going to give it a whirl on PS2. But if any of you played this, let me know. But I'm super happy to add this to the collection. And I now have every Silent Hill game on the PS, well, the PlayStation system. So that is awesome. So that's another franchise I have finished. 
Kind of glad I went for this instead of haunting ground, but I do want to get my arse together and get haunting ground now as fast as possible. So, um, yeah, let me know if any of you have played this, what you think of it. I think it's basically a remake of number one. I'm not 100% sure, but quite possibly it is. So this has been a CEX roulette win. It's absolutely immaculate, really. I couldn't have asked for a better copy. So, happy days. Well, there we are. It's just a quick video. Just a little CEX roulette. So, let me know what you thought of that. Are CEX doing the right thing now, or are they just pushing prices up? I don't know. Because you notice, whatever CEX charges, eBay, Vinted, and everything else seems to follow suit. So, we'll see. This on eBay is around the £100 mark. Some are asking for silly money. I've seen one on Vinted for 150 quid. It wasn't sealed. It was, you know, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, CEX was the cheapest place I could get it. And 95 quid, like I said, has gone up £10 in the last month. Whether it's going to go up more, I do not know. But that's that. I shall see you all on Sunday's vlog. I have got it filmed. I just need to edit it. So I shall see you all there. Be there or be square. So take care of yourselves, stay safe, and keep playing your games. Ta-da.